When I was 12 years old, I was given a second-hand red, white, and blue sunfish. The week I received the boat, my family went on vacation in the Adirondacks, and I taught myself to sail on a lake near the cabin. There are many factors that determine the quality of a day sailing, not the least of which is the nature of the wind, an unpredictable force completely beyond your control. The art of sailing is learning to achieve your destination in spite of the direction or the strength of the available wind. Sailing has taught me acceptance of life on life's terms and resilience. Even in the most unfavorable wind, with patience, determination, perseverance, and creativity, you can make port. When my children were young, I purchased a sunfish for them, hoping to share the sailing experience with them. For several years, we did wet pants sailing off of Cedar Beach, Long Island, and then one day a friend called to tell me he was selling his 25-foot sloop. I jokingly said I'd take it off his hands for $5,000, and the next thing I knew, I owned the boat, a real sailboat. For the last eight years, my kids and I spent our summers on the Pleiades, enjoying sailing adventures and making memories. It has been an incredible experience. Some of the best moments have been while the boat is moored in the harbor and we had the opportunity to simply sit, talk, and enjoy a beautiful sunset and each other's company. But at the same time, there's something really magical about captaining a vessel at 30 degrees of heel, knowing that it is only the wind and your skill that keeps the boat moving. You can't control the wind, but you can adjust your sails. An artifact is something of interest to archaeologists, something from the past. Unfortunately for today, my artifact is the Pleiades, a two-ton sailboat sitting on her racks in my backyard. It is the end of June and she's not in the water. She is a testament to a part of me that I may have to let go of. In December, my car was rear-ended and I sustained an injury to my neck that has ser seriously curtailed the active lifestyle I have previously enjoyed. So far this year, I've not been capable of doing the work necessary to put the boat in the water, and I'm not certain that I will ever be able to sail her again. I'm not sure what I'll be doing next with the Pleiades or how long she'll stay on her racks, but I do know that the acceptance, resilience, Perseverance and creativity that I've learned from sailing will help me chart and set whatever course we'll pursue. I can't control the wind, but I can adjust my sails.